So we've been asking consumers for their questions about McDonald's food. Number one category by far, chicken McNuggets. Specifically, what's in the chicken McNugget? So I'm here at the Tyson plant in Tennessee on this gorgeous day to get you some answers. All right, time to suit up and boot up. Well, here we are in Tyson Foods' Obine County facility, which is one of five facilities in the United States that make chicken McNuggets for McDonald's. Now, my initial reaction is that there's a lot of people here. Because, you know, if people think that you just come to this giant factory, you have a bin of chickens that you put into a grinder, and you grind them up and you pour that into a mold, and that's what's used to make a chicken McNugget. That's not true. All right, I'm going to show you a picture. Here, give me okay. that picture. If you do a search on the internet for chicken McNuggets, this pops up. What is this? And I don't know where that picture came from, but that's not used in chicken McNuggets. Now they say that this is pink slime. So if you grind up the parts of the chicken that you use, does it look like this? No, and we'll see that later in the process today. All right. <laughs> Amy, this blows my mind. I mean, there are multiple lines of people making cuts on the chicken, just like you would at home or just like a butcher would. Absolutely. Right here is a whole cut up chicken. So you can see here, we've got the dark meat with the drumsticks and the thighs, which does not go in chicken McNuggets. And then you've got the breast meat yep. with the rib meat and the chicken tenderloins, which do go into chicken McNuggets. Now, before we make the McNuggets, we remove this skin. Yeah. And then we later add a small portion back for flavor in the chicken McNuggets. For flavor. For flavor. Everybody likes a little bit of chicken skin. Sure. This is the only part of the chicken that goes into the chicken McNugget. Absolutely. Nothing else. Nothing else. No beaks. No beaks. No feet. No feet. Okay, Amy, so what are we seeing here? So this is our grinding operation. This is 100% white meat chicken, so the exact same cuts that you saw previously. And then this is the actual grinding plate that we use to grind the chicken. You know, this looks like a pretty coarse grind, much coarser than you'd find, say, in a supermarket. Absolutely. We grind it to give you that really meaty texture that you expect in Chicken McNuggets. Okay. So there's still a couple more steps to go through. What is happening here? I can't stop watching it. It's like a lava lamp. <laughs> so this is the machine that combines all of the ingredients together. This is the same chicken you saw earlier, mixed with the chicken skin and the marination. Are those ingredients secret? No, they're not. So the full list is on the website, but some of the ingredients are water, sodium phosphates, and food starch, which give us that really juicy bite to the chicken McNugget. Okay. And then it's also salt to really increase the flavor of the product. And finally, rosemary extract, which is a natural antioxidant that protects the flavor of the product throughout its shelf life. So this is the final blended product. Give me that picture, let me see it. See this? This is what people think the final step looks like, but it's got a completely different texture. Exactly. That still looks like me. Absolutely. So Amy, this is it. This is, this is where the nuggets are formed. Yes. Each nugget goes through a very thin layer of batter, yeah. followed by a thin layer of breader, and that breader contains some of the flavor components such as celery and white pepper. Okay. And that's I can smell the white pepper. Yeah, actually. absolutely. Um, and then the final step is the tempura coating or a thicker batter, which is really unique to the nugget. It's a blend of wheat flour, corn flour, starches, and leavening agents. And the leavening agents aerate the batter, and that's what makes the nuggets really unique. Oh man, Amy. First of all, it smells so good in here. It does. So they've been through the fryer here at the plant. So as you can see, we only partially cook them here in the plant. And basically we just, we do that to set the tempura batter. Oh, so yeah, it's raw inside. Absolutely. So that's just to get this texture. Yes. And then they cook them when they get to the, the McDonald's. Yes, they fully cook them in the McDonald's restaurant. Yes. They'll be flash frozen again to lock in the juiciness and the flavor. And then they'll be bagged and boxed and on their way to the restaurant. Would you like to try one? We can go see Gina in the kitchen. Yeah, she's cooking them up right now. Yeah. Will you be mad if I tell you I haven't had a McNugget in a long, long time? <laughs>
So Gina, what do you do here? So we are in our sensory kitchen where we evaluate nuggets every hour off the line. So you eat chicken nuggets every hour? Absolutely. All right, so what's a perfect nugget? So first we evaluate on appearance. So we want to make sure that it's a light golden brown. Okay. Make sure that it has ridges and peaks. Yes. And then you need to have a slightly firm texture, okay. but it's still juicy. Yes. And okay. then from a flavor perspective, we want to make sure that you pick up on a chicken flavor as well as some slight pepper and celery notes. Should we try one? Let's try one. All right. I'm a barbecue man myself. What about you? Sweet and sour. Uh-huh. Oh, see, that's the experience that I remember. That reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I've been in the facility. I've seen how they make the chicken McNuggets and exactly what goes into them. And I know a lot of you are expecting pink slime or the whole chicken, beak and claws and everything. But that's not the case. The reality is that they're made with white meat chicken. There's no mystery. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've been there. It is what they say it is. Now I know you've got a lot of questions, I've got a lot of questions too. So you keep asking and I'll find the answers. Good. <laughs>